What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So I have that super good feeling right now. And the reason for the feeling is we just got home from a trip. I don't know if you guys enjoy that feeling also, but when you're gone for a few days, a week, and you just get home, we've probably been home like five or seven minutes. And I have a lot to say, and I wanna say it in the right order. So let's see, uh, let's see if we get this right. So we just got home from a few day trip to this place called Cayucas. It's right next to Morro Bay. Right before we left, I did a full detail on the Sequoia. I even uh, clay barred the back door. You guys, the paint was in such poor condition. What do you think better, the ultimate quick wax or the quick mist and wipe detailer? I'm gonna say that I got rid of about 80%. You can definitely still see some stuff, but I mean, it's, it is night and day. This thing looked showroom condition when we left and uh, and then we got to the place we're staying and I noticed that there was like, I don't even know, a scratch, some weird thing happened to the door right there. And, uh, and then my uh, daughter also got some paint, some weird paint pen all over the seat. There was also some, some other stuff going on with the front. It was just, it just hurt me so bad because the vehicle was so clean. I had to do some, some detailing, some cleaning, and I had absolutely no products of my own. So it, it was pretty wild. All right, but let me show you guys where we stayed and a little bit of that, and we'll be right back. We're out of town, we're in the Sequoia, and uh, we just came back, it's day two. Went out for the whole day, had a bunch of fun. We're just gonna chill for a little while, but as soon as we, uh, we got home just a little while ago, I noticed this, and I, I don't know really what that is. And there's a little more right there. Now, I just kind of detailed this thing, clay barred it, right before we left for the trip, which I love doing that. I love taking off on a trip with a freshly clean vehicle. And, uh, but I just noticed that and, uh, and I was like, you know, we got to address this and I have no detailing products. I have absolutely nothing and I don't know what this house has either. Uh, and then I noticed that we got some like pastel oil marker on the seat right here. There's nothing going on right now. Everybody's chilling. It's like, why wouldn't I just fix those? So we're gonna get MacGyver in a minute here and we're gonna figure out how to clean off that scuff. Definitely looks like it happened in a parking lot here. Take care of the back seat. And then last but not least, this is another pet peeve of mine. That is a huge pile. Can't sleep at night with that on there, just burning through the paint. So we're gonna address that also. This is the house we're staying in here. It's uh, 60 Ash Avenue in Cayucos, California. Zillow's claiming this house is worth $2,075,000. So uh, people who are not in California, um, when I show you guys what this house looks like in a minute, we're just gonna do a quick go through here. This is what a $2 million house looks like. Uh, this house was built in 1987 and it is on 0.34 of an acre and it has no price history. No price history, so that makes me kind of think maybe it's the original owner. One really cool thing about this house is that my name is not on any of the paperwork. Um, normally when we go on vacations, do Airbnbs, do stuff like that, my name is on it and then I got to worry about if something happened. That is not the case here. So I can just be myself, if you know what I mean. Hey. It's nice. Lost a little bit of space by adding that room right there. I don't think I would have done that. All right, but let's get into why we're really here. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta clean that up. We gotta fix the seat. We gotta clean that, that bird stuff off the uh, the front. So, I was in here, and these aren't even my things, and I noticed that I've never used these before. I've never seen them before. I noticed there's a vehicle right there, OxyClean Multi-Surface Cleaning Wipes. It will give it the new car scent. Now it says you can use it on leather. If it says you can use it on leather, then I'm into it, but I think we should probably have like a moist towel ready to go if the seat starts sizzling away. So let's do that. I'm so lucky these wipes are here. Now if these wipes weren't here, oh, it's, oh, it's good. Wow, and look at, you can see the discolor from the, uh, the car seat. 
Oh, wow. Oh, jeez. I'd say that seat looks great. Highly recommend Oxy multi-surface cleaning wipes. I swear to you, this is not an ad for whatever that brand is, multi-surface cleaning wipes, but I was thinking I might as well just go at this. This is like everybody's nightmare, right? I'm telling you, there's not a ding, there's not a scratch, there's not an imperfection on the side of this vehicle right here. And then, uh, and then we come home or come back to here and uh, it is not coming off as easy as I would have hoped. Okay, it is, oh my goodness, I am just having to grind my fingernail into it. Look at that, it got it off. Oh, that is, oh, that is great. And we got these three over here. But you can feel this one is, this one is deep right here. Okay. All right, good as new. Awesome, whew. So, seat's better, paint's better on the door. Now, as much as I'd like to, I don't think this is gonna be able to do anything for us with this one. Right, let me show you how I like to deal with these. Fill it up with some, uh, some pretty hot water. I'm gonna go with uh, between warm and pretty darn hot. Come out here and just give this thing a a little pre-soaker. All right, look at that. And I think we're gonna go do one more. I only got one hand, I gotta do one of these. Nailed it. Well, someone's out. All right, so check this out. Downstairs, you go in the backyard. This is, this is it, this is your $2 million backyard right here. This is the whole thing, palm tree. There's a gate. Go out this gate. This is kind of interesting. So this goes down, almost was gonna say the main street. This isn't a main street, it's a, kind of a quiet street. But this is it. So the house is tucked away. You could tell people to park right here and I don't think they would even ever find uh, the backside with the, uh, the driveway and the two car garage. So that's kind of cool. You can keep it kind of incognito. You can tell some things have been renovated and other things have not. Uh, it's, a, it's a really cool house though. I, I wish I had it. I would love to have a vacation home uh, down in Morro Bay. All right, let's get down to what this video is all about now. If you guys saw my last video, we talked about the five mods to avoid uh, for Toyota truck SUV owners. Um, those five were nothing compared to how bad this one is. So we're just on the freeway, we're heading back and up from behind us comes the most beautiful like 1987 Toyota four wheel drive, gorgeous truck lifted, everything going for it. And then I noticed that somebody has put the TRD bedside stickers off a of Tacoma or a Tundra. Let's do a little history on those bedside stickers. So the first year you ever saw them was 1998 on the Tacoma. They added the TRD package, which was a locking rear differential, some Bilstein shocks and, uh, and a skid plate and those decals. And uh, in 2000, the Tundra got the same treatment minus the locking rear diff, unfortunately. But uh, I loved it. I love the TRD editions. I, I love the names. I love the bedside decals. But when people put those decals on vehicles that they never offered it, and mainly the Forerunners, you see them on that uh, sometimes. You see them on 80s, early 90s Toyota trucks with the TRD stickers. Absolutely no can do, all right? TRD did not offer it. 
in those model pickups, so there's no way you think we're, you're just gonna throw those on and, and fool somebody. It's a bad look, it's a bad look. So anyways, that is probably the number one don't do that, especially on a killer 80s Toyota truck. This just this just ruined it, this, this thing we just saw. Okay, so like I was showing you guys earlier, this thing is certifiably filthy. And what's better than cleaning a Toyota? Well, that would be cleaning a Toyota with Toyota liquid car wash. So this thing's been hibernating in the driveway the last few days. Time to go back to the streets. So Toyota liquid car wash, genuine. There's a genuine Toyota product right here. You can rely on this professional caliber car wash. Concentrate containing biodegradable detergents. So you know, they're always doing their part. Uh, directions, dilute one to three ounces per gallon of water. That's about a gallon. I'm not too concerned about getting the ratio right. It's all about how it performs and smells. All right. Well, that smells all right. It smells like kind of like old guy cologne mixed with floor cleaner. Well, let's see how it works. Well, that doesn't even want to come off. Wow. What you got? Okay, so I did mention just a little while ago that I did fully, <laughs> I did fully clay bar and, uh, and then wax. And yes, it was just cheap and easy spray wax, but either way, I don't think the back door, I don't think the back doors felt this good in years. That sounds kind of weird. I guess I, I got to word that better. Uh, the wife's back door hasn't felt this good in years. That's, that's more like it, not my back door. Ooh, this is coming out very nice. This Toyota soap is good. All right, what do you think of that? It, it gets it done. I'm, I'm gonna give it like a 10 out of 10. Like butter. All right, I'm really out of here this time. Later.